So a question I get ever so often on my channels regarding property transfers is basically the question, can I sell my property to my son for 10 Rand? And I think if you take that question, it doesn't really matter if it's for 10 Rand or 1000 Rand. It's basically under the value of, of the property in the eyes of, of Sash probably. <laughs> and I've answered it a thousand times, but from the perspective of an auditor, can you maybe explain for us? Because, I mean, technically, yes, you can. You can sell your property for whatever you wish, but a property transaction is, or a transfer of a property is so much more than just changing the names on the title deed. There's a financial implications in the background that I think the average person misses and do not understand. So if you can maybe color that in for us and maybe give an indication of what is the reality if you sell, let's take, let's say a, a million rand property to your child for a hundred rand. Yes, Francois. So um, you're a hundred percent right. You, you can sell your property to, to anyone for a hundred rand or for a thousand rand or basically for less than market value. But there are certain implications of that which um, are, I think, not immediately clear always. The first one uh, is that, um, and you'll be able to, to, to also explain that, but is that obviously, you know, when a property gets transferred um, and it's a, a residential property, there is transfer duty. Now, SARS is unfortunately not going to accept 100 Rand as the value for transfer duty. They will be looking at market value. And they want their transfer duty on the market value of the property. So when you do come in with a very low value on a property, you will need to defend that value to SARS and, and obviously 100 or 1,000 Rand for a property which, you know, has a market value of a million or two, three, is not going to cut it. You will end up paying uh, the transfer duty on the proper amount. But what also happens in this instance is if we have a look at the broader tax landscape in South Africa, we've got different types of taxes. We've got the VAT, uh, which is a transactional tax. We pay that as we, unfortunately, we pay VAT every day. Uh, we pay that as we buy something, as we go along. We've got income taxes on, on our income, um, be that in a company or in our personal capacities or however. And then we've also got two taxes called the state duty and donations tax. And the one sort of feeds off the other. So in South Africa, if you pass away, then the receiver is entitled to a tax on your estate. Um, and that tax, you know, we can explore that a little bit further some other time, but typically it is about 20 to 25%, depending on how large your estate is and so on. Um, you know, obviously, if you do not want to pay that tax, the logical thing would then be to, you know, if you know that your time is coming to an end, to then give your assets away to the people that you were going to, um, uh, that were going to benefit from your estate in the first place. Um, so, to counter that, we have a, a tax called donations tax. So as soon as I give something or sell something to another person, except my husband or wife, between husband and wife, there is no uh, donations tax. But to my kids, to any other person for that matter, um, there is the same sort of tax as an estate duty, also at 20 or 25% um, donations tax. So um, if I then go and sell a property to my child, for instance, for way below market value, SARS is going to say, okay, but you have actually donated the part between the value that you have asked and the market value to your child. And unfortunately, you will now need to pay the 20% donations tax. On this. So then the property is going to transfer and unfortunately you will be left with the bill for 
the 20% of the difference. Now, you know, you can make a donation of 100,000 Rand a year. Each natural person can do that to, to their children, to, to any institution um, without paying donations tax, but that's it. Anything more than that, unfortunately, you will pay um, those taxes on. So basically, it is going to catch you on two fronts. The transfer duty is still going to be the same as if you were doing it at market value, and you will be paying donations tax on the difference between market value and the value that you would have done the transaction at. It, it, it makes sense, and I've never been in, in such a position. And I would think as a transfer attorney, I mean, my fee is also based on the value of the property. I would like to think that I would like to base my fee as well on the hundred or well, on the million and not on 10 Rand. So that's an interesting implication as well. And you just can't get around that. And that's the same as where people would like just to, to give away the, their property. That um, it, it's the same whether it's for 10 Rand or it's for free or it's a thousand Rand there's the real implication of donations tax and you just can't get away from that.